Hi Piggy people! So today's video I wanted to share with you everything that's inside our emergency medical care kit for the guinea pigs. Not every item in here is for an emergency, but all these items I use all the time and they're great to have on hand before you need them. Nothing sucks more than having a situation and trying to scramble to find these items, especially if it's after hours. So everything in here I highly suggest everybody gets because you never know when you might need it. So let's start off with the things on, I guess, this side here. So first, it's always a great idea to have something for hand feeding your guinea pig. If your guinea pig is sick, recovering from surgery, or for whatever reason stops eating, you need to make sure that they're eating, and I would give this every two to four hours if they're not eating well on their own. So this here is critical care, and we also have uh, the Sherwood recovery food. You can use either, you can mix them together. In a pinch you can use your guinea pigs pellets mashed in water to hand feed. So to go along with that you're going to want to get yourself a syringe. I usually use the one mil syringe and cut off the tip. It fits nicely into the guinea pigs mouth and with the tip cut off the food flows through it nice and easy. So have this on hand because honestly you never know when you might need it and it's so important to keep your guinea pigs GI tract moving. So if they aren't eating well or not eating at all, please hand feed. So next, kind of going with the, your guinea pigs not feeling well eating or drinking properly, we have this Appetite Restore from Sherwood. So you could also use a Pedialyte if you wanted. So what this is, is electrolytes and B vitamins to stimulate their appetite to give them back their electrolytes, get everything back to balance if they're not eating or drinking properly or if they're just recovering from a surgery. Next we have a couple supplements. So we have the Oxbow Vitamin C Hay Tabs. This is great as an everyday treat for your pigs. Pigs need vitamin C in their diet every day. So this helps to make sure that they get that. If they're recovering from surgery or not feeling right, giving extra vitamin C is always recommended. We also have the urinary support, lots of healthy ingredients in here that just help healthy, which promote healthy urinary function. We also use the Sherwood urinary so this is again just for healthy urinary function and there are some B vitamins in here and also some extra vitamin C. Next we always have on hand Medicam. I am lucky that, in a sense I'm lucky, I usually have one piggy who is prescribed Medicam for something and we're able to have this on hand in case of emergencies. So this is a medication that has to be prescribed by your vet and it's an anti-inflammatory and a pain med. And this has come in handy so often. Right now, this is because Reese is on this. Next thing we have is oval gas drops. So this is semethicone. It might be called something different if you're in the UK. I can't remember what it's called over there. Maybe it was grape water that some people said that they use over there. This is if your guinea pig is gassy, is having any bloat issues. I like to use this after they've woken up from a surgery to get gas out. If they're feeling gassy at all, this does not hurt to give them. It isn't absorbed into the body, it just moves through their digestive tract, helping break up gas bubbles so that they can be released. Next we have, this is from the vet as well, but this is an eye lubricant which works great if your guinea pig had anything in their eye that you had to remove, like say a little fleck of hay and their eyes bugging them. We've used this quite a bit. Also if any piggies have had an eye injury where they had to have antibiotic eye drops, this was something that we were to put in 10 to 15 minutes later just for comfort for their eye. You never know when you might need it. Next we have a couple little creams. So this one is from Gorgeous Guineas. This is the F&M foot ointment. Excellent for dry, cracked feet. And then we also have Calendula. This is River City Herbals. So this was an ointment that I used for Apple. So when she had stone issues, kidney stone and bladder stone, she used to leak a little bit of urine. So I put this on her lady parts to act as a barrier to keep her dry so that she wouldn't get scalded. 
These two items are also great if there's any little scab or dry crusty area that you want to moisten up to help it heal. Next from Gorgeous Guineas we have the Kind and Gentle Shampoo. This is my favorite guinea pig shampoo. It's very gentle on them, works awesome. Everybody needs to bath their guinea pigs once in a while. You don't want to overdo it. So I just do it as needed and the shampoo is awesome. This is even safe on skinny pigs if you ever do need to give them a bath. Next we have our nail clippers. So everybody knows I use human nail clippers for clipping the guinea pigs nails. This is my preference. I find them easier to control. And if you keep getting new ones, they're nice and sharp so they don't crush the nails and they do an excellent job. After I clip their nails, I like to file their nails to take any sharp points off, especially for the skinny pigs so they don't scratch themselves. Next, you never know when you might need a pair of scissors. So these are pet safe scissors. So they have a rounded tip so that you don't accidentally poke them. Great for pigs who have longer fur or pigs who have hair that kind of grows around near their eye, cleans up their bum area if you want to keep that area tidier. Super handy. Next, uh, we have saline. So this is sodium chloride. Saline is excellent for flushing out eyes. Say if somebody has a fleck of hay in their eye, something that you need to get out of there. This is excellent for cleaning out wounds. And this is also awesome for cleaning out abscesses. Next in this one we have diluted betadine. So betadine is a solution that's safe to use on guinea pigs that's not going to sting, burn, or irritate their skin. So you do need to dilute it. Uh, what I read online was about say like one mil of betadine to 10 mils of water. So we mixed it up in this huge bottle and these bottles I bought off of Amazon so they are 500 ml squeeze bottles. So these are something that you might see in a tattoo shop or a vet clinic. Excellent for keeping this. Next we have a little acrylic jar here that just has some cotton swabs, Q-tips. You never know when you might need those for cleaning out your guinea pig's ears or for injuries. And then this little acrylic jar has little cotton rounds which are awesome for helping you clean up anything. So cleaning up around their eyes, their bums, their feet. And then I've used a ton of these while I was helping clean up abscesses with grease and velvet. You never know when you might need those. So that is everything that I keep on hand in my medical care kit at all times. Let me know down below in the comments what you keep and also tell me what items are you gonna purchase now that you've seen that I have them. Bye piggy people! If you like watching guinea pig videos, learning how to care for us, seeing product hauls or reviews, or really anything else guinea pig, please subscribe and make sure you hit that notification bell so you never miss a video. Down below I've left two more videos for you to pick from, so keep on watching!